Hello, my very most beautiful Scorpios. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your March mid-monthly reading. This is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So guys, if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box below for you. So, Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my most beautiful Scorpios, please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Scorpio's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what's going on for you. Now, we are going to be taking a look at your recent past, your current energy, so your present moment your immediate future. We are also going to be taking a look at what your challenge could be now through the remainder of March, as well as what you don't see coming in that time frame as well. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Empress. That's really nice to see. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. Some of you guys could be making a decision here or could have been making a decision in the recent past or there was a need to make a decision in the recent past when it comes to whether or not to um, try to rebuild something or try to um, keep something together, okay? Um, give something a second chance, something like that here. We're going to need to take a look at that, but we do have the two of wands here. So the, the question, do we rebuild or do we, we move on to something new? Do we keep trying to keep this together? Do we keep trying to give this to work? Do we give this another shot? Or do we, you know, leave this behind and go, go the new path? There could definitely be, um, could have been a lack of communication as well in their own reset past. But let's take a look at that. Tell me about this page of pentacles in the reverse. What is this page of pentacles in the reverse here for? Five of Wands. So it's like you guys could have taken a minute to stop communicating because, like, or just stopped communicating why you kind of made this decision, or there was a lack of communication, or just not as much while you tried to figure things out. Because I feel like there was a lot of conflict between the two of you. It's like every time you guys talked, it ended up in an argument, something like that here. And you're asking yourself, is this something I want to continue to do? Um, do I want to continue to try to fix this? Is it worth it? Or should I leave this behind and go in a new direction? Let's take a look at the current energies. Tell me about this temperance in the reverse. You have the temperance in the reverse, the nine of swords in the reverse, and the ten of cups in the reverse. So in the present moment, still really unhappy, okay? I do feel like this is somebody that you feel very... The word that I'm getting is bound, okay? You still feel very, you feel very bound, very connected to this person. And it's almost like, I feel like this is very cycle energy, tower devil okay that's very cycled energy to me um this is something that you you deal with and you've had a hard time um, moving on from you feel like you guys keep going back to each other keep going back to trying to make something work here okay so the temperance in the reverse i feel like you're losing your patience with this kind of energy okay as well as you're losing your patience with somebody getting their stuff together or working you know what i'm saying like somebody keeps saying they're going to make changes and things aren't. I feel like you're losing your patience in general when it comes to this situation. As well as I feel like you're starting to question whether something can be, something get, can get back to a place of good. The temperance card is a card of patience, card of healing. It's also the alchemical process of transforming one thing to another. And I feel like you're asking yourself with this being the reverse, like, I don't even know if it can get back to a good place. After everything that we've been through, as many towers, all this this negative energy, if all of this conflict, I don't even know if it can get back there. What am I even, what am I fighting for? You know, what am I trying to rebuild? You know, is it even possible? You know, I feel like that's something that you're asking yourself. I feel like you're getting very frustrated. I feel like a part of you just wants to release it because it's, it's very difficult on you to keep doing this to yourself. Um, we got the Ten of Cups. You're very in the reverse, very unhappy. Okay, so I feel like you're asking yourself a lot of hard questions when it comes to this connection. In the immediate future, we have the lovers in the reverse, the knight of cups, and the high priestess in the reverse. So there's definitely a disconnect here, but I feel like the decision is finally being made. You can kind of see this um, progressing. So you have... 
you know, up here, when we first start in the recent past, needing to make the decision, recognizing that the decision has to be made, having this come into your head of, you know, I have two paths. Which one am I going to take? Am I going to try this again? Am I going to do this again? Or am I going to, am I going to, am I going to move forward? Okay. Am I going to keep doing this? Am I going to move forward? You're, you're getting to that place. Even in the middle, it's like getting more pronounced that the decision needs to be made because it's, it's getting very difficult. It's getting very heavy. I feel like by the end of this, you're finally making the decision. Okay. We have the lovers in the reverse. The decision has been made. I feel like you're seeing that there isn't going, there isn't a turning point here. The lovers in the upright can represent a major turning point, but with the temperance in the reverse and the lovers in the reverse, um, they're right on top of each other too, guys. They're laid out just like this. Okay. Um, I'm getting a couple different messages just from that. It really does feel like you're recognizing here that the decision is getting made as well as that this is not what's meant for you. You are not meant to be this unhappy. You are not meant to, to continue to go. If you, the universe, we can always tell when we're on our right path because things align, you know, there's synchronicities, things align, things work out. And when we are not where we're supposed to be, it's like one thing after another keeps happening because the universe is trying to course correct, course correct, course correct. You know, and I feel like you guys have been trying to fight this tower moment. This tower moment has been trying to come. The tower is the universe. Like I've given you signs. I've given you, I've given you, you know, chance after chance to do this and you are not. So I'm going to step in and now we have to do this. Okay. It's, it's, it's this energy. Um, I feel guys, I feel like you're finally starting to recognize that, that this is, if it was guided and if it was meant for you, things would be aligning, things would be working out. It wouldn't be this difficult, okay? But there is some codependency here. There is this bind that you guys have with this person um, that is showing up as the devil. You know, it's, it's something that needs to be worked through, whether it's these fears of moving on, fears of really letting go, uh, fears of having to deal with that. You know, there's something here, guys, that really does need to be taken a look at, and I feel like you're doing that. I feel like you're starting to finally see that things aren't turning around and that it's time to let the tower fall. We do have the Knight of Cups here, so I feel like you're creating a new, a new dream and vision for yourself. You know, that is becoming clear that you can't have the dream and vision that you want with this person. When you think about what your future looks like, when you, like when you have that dream, He's a dreamer, a visionary. He knows exactly what kind of life he wants, what kind of partner he wants, what that looks like. You know, it's it's what do you what do you what does that dream partnership look like? How do they treat you? How do they talk to you? What do you guys do together? What does a day in the life of look like? Um, I feel like when you do that, when you're really honest with yourself about what that looks like, I feel like you're starting to see that you can't have that here. It doesn't look like this. Okay. I feel like you're creating a new dream and vision to yourself. Something is becoming very clear to you about that here. Okay. And I feel like you're finally choosing to allow the tower to fall. And I feel like it brings in, um, I do feel like there's somebody else new trying to come in. I do. Um, and I feel like they haven't been able to because it's, the space has been taken up by this, but that being aside, it does put you back in your power. It puts you back into this very empowered energy and it finally allows you what you don't see coming. There's a lot of success. It's almost like this has been holding you back and by making the decision and acting, you're finally, um, you're finally moving forward and things are finally turning around for you. It, you can tell, and maybe this person is a little bit of an energy vampire. You can tell when we're involved with somebody or we're with somebody or have somebody in our life and our energy. And it's just like, everything just is very down for us, very negative for us. But as soon as we get away from that, everything starts working out. Things start aligning. You know, I feel like that is something here um, that's coming up for you guys as well. So this is a very serious reading, guys. Um, a very heavy reading. But I feel like you guys, this is nothing that you guys don't already know. Scorpios are extraordinarily intuitive. Deep down, you guys already do know what you're what you're supposed to be doing and I feel like for a lot of you guys that this is just that confirmation that this has been holding you back and that it's time to release something okay so this is what I have for you guys if this resonates let me know in the comments down below if it doesn't check out your other placements everything that you need to know will be in the description box below for you if you like the way that I read please like share and subscribe but most importantly guys if you want personal prayers for any reason at all Go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.